Hey, this is Tom from Porsche Stratum. We're in the 2020 Porsche Taycan 4S. So as you can see, full digital dashboard right up here. Uh, nothing analog, no dials, nothing like that. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but that was just the electric motor kicking in. So as you can see, you have all sorts of uh, information right up here. So this little dial here, this is gonna change what's getting displayed here. So whether it be uh, your media, information, trip, navigation. I personally like to have navigation. Um, we're, not, <laughs> we're, uh, we're sitting on the front grass here, so it thinks that we're off road. Uh, right over here, so we can go to the guest. Uh, this is your home screen for uh, this is actually what's called the infotainment system. This is the home screen of the infotainment system. So uh, this gives you all sorts of access to all your apps, um, various different information. So you can actually change the setup of the car. So you can do electric sport sound, which is really cool. It actually sounds a little bit kind of like a spaceship. Uh, won't be able to test that out. Kind of blocked out by a bunch of cars, um, but it will give you other options for parking assist, different trip information, and then you can change your comfort level too, which is really cool. Um, go up here. This is just notification, so when you get text or a notification from the car itself, um, it has navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that's already in here. Right down here, this is your climate control and some of the controls that go with the infotainment system up there. Um, so you have quite a bit of um, different options here. All of it's touchscreen, there's no buttons in here. The only buttons that are in here are what's on your steering wheel over here and right down here, the parking button. This is actually what shifts you into gear. Um, so that's really cool. But going back to the steering wheel here, this has um, this right here, this controls your, your phone, your volume, voice controls, there's uh, the other side of that. Uh, you have cruise control right down there. Like I said, full digital dash, one of the coolest dashboards I've ever seen. Uh, up there you have a couple other controls. And the best part of the Taycan, in my opinion, is the all glass roof. So this doesn't actually open, but it's still a very cool feature. Uh, this particular one, it's the 4S, so it doesn't have leather seats. It's definitely a more per performance-driven car, so it has the race tech steering wheel rather than the leather steering wheel. Uh, also has a cloth seat, uh, as well as some race techs around the trim of the seats. Very comfortable seats to sit in. It's actually ventilated and heated seats also, so I just turned on the ventilated seats. Works really good, because um, what it actually does is this is pretty unique to Porsche. Instead of blowing cold air onto you, it sucks the hot air away from you. So it definitely feels like you're sitting on some ice. Um, but right down here, this is uh, like sport mode parking sensors. This is actually the parking camera uh, right here that you can press. But like I said, all this is touch screen. That's a touch screen. Um, this is not, but it's all full digital. Here's the back seat. So on this one, it's a four seater. Um, you have your armrest in the middle that folds up. So lots of room, tons of leg. I mean, I don't have the seat that far forward and there's about, I don't know, eight, 10 inches between the back of this seat and the front of the seat behind me. And then for all your passengers back there, they have USB type C ports so they can be charging their phones and then Here's some ventilation and controls for the ventilation back there. Uh, but all around, it's a really cool car. Very, very fast. We'll go 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. So um, definitely a car that you can have a lot of fun with and still have it be pretty uh, luxurious. So they're able to also fast charge. They can go from 0 to 100 in under 30 minutes. Uh, this particular car comes with a charger. It's not the fast charger, but it does come with a charger. Um, so you can charge it overnight. 
let me do a quick walk around around the outside show you the car this one is really cool and i'll show you why Both speakers all around it's got the tycon 4s um doorway plate there all right there you have power windows power mirrors power locks there's your power locks and this is actually so you can program it so whichever key is in the car it will actually automatically move your seat so when you climb into the car and start it it will know what position to have your seat really cool door handles too when you lock the car they actually suck away in there and then you can't even get those and then i just unlocked it here's the back seat again both speakers power windows lots of leg room for all your passengers So this is one of my favorite things about this car is the white exterior with the white rims. I think it's really, really cool. It kind of gives a look of almost having white walls on there, um, which is honestly, it's pretty cool. And it looks good on uh, this car, especially an electric car. As you can see, it has Porsche right down there, right in the brake light parking sensors all around. Here's a close-up of the rims on that. And another really cool feature of this car is the headlights, the way those look. So those are actually uh, intake right there below the headlights, the uh, vertical lines, and that takes air in and puts it onto your brakes so they don't overheat. Like I said, this car is very, very fast, so they need a way to cool the brakes. Some of the many safety sensors right down here on the front of the car, some cameras too. Porsche, Porsche number one. So it's a very nice car, very good looking. Uh, this one right now, I believe, is listed at 142. Um, but I could be wrong about that. I would need to check uh, that price. But take a look at the video, obviously. And um, my contact information is below. Same with links to our website and links to the Carfax. And uh, reach out to me with any questions. Let's set up a time for you to come down and test drive it. Thank you.